What's going on? CK Chrome here. Uh, today, what we're going to do is we're going to go through uh, five things I wish I knew uh, about the 3D printing business. So let's dive right in. So the first thing I wish I knew and understand better was if you print more, it costs less. And what do I mean by that? Um, well, I could show you uh, this guy here. You know, this will probably take like, I don't know, 12 to 17 hours to make. And it'll probably cost like $7 in filament to make one. Or if I make 12, it'll be like 11 bucks, but it'll take two and a half days. Anyways, let's dive in just to give an example. Guys, I mean, as you can see, uh, one of these little cows that I, I designed, um, one of these little guys, it's 19 hours to uh, process this guy. 19 and a half hours costs five bucks. Holy smokes, man, that's a long time. But now if I click over to 12, you can see at 12, um, it's going to be less than a dollar and only take 13 hours more. Um, so that's what my point is, is don't let this stuff, uh, don't let it mess with you. Okay. You got to figure out how to make things that are able to do multiple prints in one, especially, or really knock some stuff out, especially if it's multicolor. I mean, that's what I've learned hands down. You got to figure out that equation. It's sweet, pretty and sweet. All right. So step two is going to definitely be a uh, design for fulfillment uh, rather than uh, on demand the best you can. But uh, I, I, I have uh, items that I do not do that with, and it's, it's give or take. If you got a good idea, you got to roll with it. For example, let me show you. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you have products uh, to fulfillment. A bunch of products you have just ready to glue up and go right out the door. This is what it looks like. This single standalone product is when you uh, print on demand. You can only print one print because there's only one name on there um and there's only one order so that's the difference between there you have to have printers open to do these uh that's what i mean by that all right now number three is going to be uh the biggest stinker of them all in my opinion because i'm not a big fan of it but uh the the product image quality because that sells at the end that's going to sell more than the next person especially if they have something similar what do i mean by that let's take a look so of course i had to break down and get one of these um, I recommend one of these. I'm not sure what the size is, two feet by two feet, but it's a light box with a bunch of different, uh, bunch of different fun stuff you can have on that guy, a bunch of different backgrounds. So, But yeah, so the light box leads up to some of these examples here. You go to my website, uh, CK Chrome, um, then you'll see, you know, here's, here's, this is now what the, here's with the light box. Okay. Here's with the light box, with the light box, the black, with the light box, you know, you can see um definitely uh the, the difference in the image quality um it gives it a little gradient um absolutely awesome uh image quality i think and that's that's what the light box will give you so that's why i got one um thank you all right the next up on the plate is going to definitely be bed adhesion uh i wish i would have or i wish they would have sold these plates right away these uh uh, uh cryo grip plates right away because the issues i had making my light boxes with this plate, I don't know, some people still don't have issues, but uh, I still have issues to this day. My X1 Carbon, I still print with this PEI in there. But yeah, in my opinion, um, it's just a mess having these uh, textured PEI plates in there with glue on them and whatnot. Um, I do prefer the good old Cryo Grip 100%. Um, all right, last but not least is going to definitely be what printer to buy. Um, because if you're just like everyone else, you'd be like, oh, the 3D printing is awesome. You know what I mean? You're going to go right into getting this bamboo X1 carbon with all these bells and whistles on it. And then, uh, you're going to do what I did. I don't know, maybe. And then you're going to go to a P1S and then you're going to be like, okay, well, and then you're going to figure out exactly what it is you're doing. And now you're going to get the A1 combo and you're going to get multiple ones because you just didn't understand the functionality of the printers. The best thing to do is to go onto a Facebook group, a Facebook forum, some, get some, a printer that has a huge support of following. Um, and that, that way, when you have issues, you have a whole bunch of folks that will help you out. And that's the biggest thing about 3D printing, especially for troubleshooting and whatnot. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you made it this far, uh, please like and subscribe and watch my next video. Watch the next content I have coming out on my channel. Thank you.